Hey everybody, welcome back to Daggerfall. Last time we were still in the starter dungeon. We're going to try and get out of here uh, this time around. But I did say I want to do, you know, to do a little bit more exploration. So that's what we'll do. Now, I don't know. <laughs> we got this thing up here. I don't know if there's any way to get down. Because uh, to climb down, you have to like have a rope, I think, according to the manual. I don't know. We could try it. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty much what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> it's kind of easy to just launch yourself right off the edge of there and fall to your death all the way down there. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, go ahead and we'll explore down here a bit. Because I don't think we've done too terribly much on this side of things. So let's just see what we've got. I know that somewhere there's like a room with like a little secret in it. I don't think we've found that yet. So I'd like to at least find that, just to show it off. I think I already maybe did in one of the demos, because it's this uh, this whole dungeon is fairly similar to some of the demo content that, we, that we've seen uh, previously. Hello. Aha! Yes, it's this guy. Okay. Ooh, we actually got him. Got him good there. Very nice. Six gold pieces, we'll take it. I'm going to save after that, because <laughs> I don't think we're ever going to get a better fight than that. Uh, yeah, this is the room. So, like, uh, this looks awfully suspicious, right? You can see that even if we jump, there's some treasure in there. Um, which, by the way, yeah, if we didn't have as athleticism, I don't think we'd be able to jump quite as high. Um, I guess that depends on your jump skill a bit, but I think if we just touch this and we'll click on it. There you go. A little bit of extra treasure for the road. If I can click on it there. 154 gold pieces. Incredible. So yeah, I think um, the loot is random. So if we had like reloaded and then touched it again to look through the loot pile, it'd be different. Which is why I'm like saving. Part of the reason I, I save constantly. <laughs> the other part is just this, you know. It's a dangerous game. We're going to die a lot. So... In the interest of not having to redo too much stuff. That's why we're going to be seeing the save screen a lot. Because unfortunately I don't think quick saving was a thing. Just yet. Um, as nice as that would be. Here we go. Good opportunity to attempt some, uh, some fisty cuffs type of situation here. As soon as we don't get worked over too hard. There we are. All right, let's, um, we'll save, we'll rest. Um, somebody actually, yeah, I mentioned about level ups and not knowing exactly where we were at. Somebody mentioned maybe there was a way to see it on the screen. Um, I'm clicking on this and I don't see anything. Um, I did find out accidentally, though, that we could rename our characters, should we so choose, uh, by clicking on our name. And then, uh... We click, uh, there we go, click on our health. I think this will show us if we are, like, diseased or maybe poisoned or something like that. Uh, I think we can also see that through, uh, where is it? There you go. I think that screen might show us. Yeah, there you go. So, um, yeah, a couple ways to see that kind of info, but we'll just explore down here a little bit, and then I think we'll make our way to the exit. That sounds pretty good. Surely this can't be just nothing. Can it? I mean, I guess it can. I guess it is. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be anything here. Okay. Ah, and we've already been here. Did I, uh, did I look in here? Is that loot? I can't tell. It is loot. Uh, we can't carry any more stuff. What is this? Leather, leather, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, just some random leaves. I guess we'll, um... We'll take the leaves. I'm not sure how much we're gonna be doing in the way of, uh, alchemy, but... Eh, you know, we'll at least try it at some point, I'm sure.
This brings us to the other side. Okay, I see. Uh, well, I guess... We're, I think that's good enough. We'll, uh, we'll call it... Oh, hello there. I did not realize there was going to be more stuff over here. <laughs> okay. Long sword, steel boots, chain. All this stuff is kind of better than this, but maybe the, the boots would be good. Let's see. 1.25 versus 2.5. So I can get rid of like that. And that, I can take those instead. I don't know if that's a financially sound decision or not. I think it was our first orc as well, yeah. We, uh... We can't be an orc until... Until Morrowind. But I think the orcs may, might play, like, lore-wise, they might play a role. I have to go back. I, I sort of read a little bit in the manual as far as the backstory, but I don't remember much of it. So I'll have to go back and do that, but yeah, I think the... The orcs are involved somehow, maybe, in the story to an extent. Or at least they're they're mentioned in, in the lore. Um, because... Right, we have to go up here. Um, because... I think, uh, like, Orsinium, where they're from, is kind of near where we are on the map. Maybe it is on the map, I'm not sure. So, um... Yeah, that's, that's my thought, anyway. Alright, I think we can probably just run from here. So we've more or less cleared out all this stuff. And yeah, there's our exit. Whew! I didn't read what that said. I don't know if the tutorials abandoned us, or, uh, or what. <laughs> Normally, I think there would be some stuff popping up, but hey, we've uh, we made it out. That's pretty good. Um, we go. Let me think. What's the button? There it is. So we are in Daggerfall proper. There's Betany, actually. Maybe we can get to Betany in the main game. I thought that we couldn't, but you never know. I guess. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we're way out here in Privateer's Hold. Right there. So that's, I guess, where we were shipwrecked and, uh, came ashore. And all this other stuff, if we just take all these out. So there's the dungeon. There's a bunch of, bunch of other dungeons out here as well. We've got... Some homes. I don't know that, uh... I don't know exactly what the deal with the homes are. And we've got various temples. I think, um, we picked Akatosh as our god, right? So, I want to check out one of those at some point. And then uh, just a random... nearby towns. Let's go to... Burgly Rip Edge, the Beaver and Dungeon Lodge, Newcroft, the Rusty Ogre. So, various uh, types of uh, areas we can go, but I guess we'll go. Let's go to Gothway Garden. So, for traveling, we have some options. We can go recklessly. I don't know what the difference exactly is, other than one costs less money to do and is faster. Um, and we'll go by foot. And, uh, yeah, stopping at inns versus camping. And maybe you can get, like, get sick or something on the way. I don't know. Or get waylaid, but we'll do it this way. All right. Not too bad. Oh, um, there's all the people. <laughs> Just loading in there. That's fine. Hello, good lady. Uh, let's see. What do you guys ha even have here? General stores? Um, where is the supply store? How do I... Oh, there we go. Yep, I forgot how to play the game for a minute there. She hasn't got a clue. Well, that's alright. We can look at the map. So, shops are in red. Taverns are in green. It looks like maybe that's the... 
town manor or town maybe there's a keep there or something a couple guilds here as well but i think what we'll do is just try to get to an inn here so let's go and ignore all these people we'll run southwest because i think it's got to be like it's actually not that uh hang on yeah, I think uh, I think it's the morning, so it's also like awfully ominous looking out. <laughs> um, but we could just loiter for like three hours, let some shops open up. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's see what we've got here. If we just go straight south. We'll find some some stuff to check out. Just looking for somewhere to unload and maybe buy a couple things, and then, I don't know, we'll probably make our way to Daggerfall. Uh, I don't think that's a shot. I think... I go around this way, and then we'll get to the shop. General store. Alright, so this is kind of a nice shop. Or like a mid-range shop, I guess. We can repair stuff, we can talk. <laughs> Guess we're not terribly well liked. Um, yeah, let's see about getting rid of some crap. So what do we have here? We've got the steel daikatana, wakazashi, broadsword, so let's get rid of all those. I don't think we need them. Um, also I did look up one thing. I was curious, I had mentioned about like skeletons maybe being damaged more by blunt weapons, and I did look up the skeleton specifically just to see if like, is that a thing in the game? And it seems like it is actually. So we were doing like half damage to the skeleton and that's part of why it took so long to kill him. Um, but I'm guessing our hands and feet do blunt damage. So in theory, later, um, we won't have to worry about that too much. Uh, we could, <laughs> I was going to say, we could try some, some fashion fall, but uh, we're not going to see much under that breastplate. Uh, but let's see what we get for these. 197 gold, that's fine. Because um, I want to come in here and buy one of these, yeah. 150 gold, buy that. Whatever. We're not a great bargainer. But this is like a critical piece of equipment. I don't know what the difference between this and a horse is. Horses are very expensive, but this is already pulled by a horse. Because if we like, if we go, and then we push uh, this button, there you go. We got, a, we got a horse and a cart. We don't level up our running when we're doing this. I don't think, in fact, we even can run. Um. But, yeah. We've got a cart now. Uh, maybe the horse is faster or something. I don't think I care about that really right now. Um, just that we have it because the wagon gives us an immense amount of carrying capacity. I think that maybe they're... And I think in the demos, anyway, I saw that they were different sizes, but... Um, this is fine for now. So, all right, let me tell you what. Here you go. Let's, what do we got here? For, uh, for shirts. Well, it's, it's kind of flowery. I kind of I like that one. I mean... I don't know, when you have fur on half your chest, what do you do? I, uh, I'm not sure. I guess we'll come back, we'll sell a couple of these other shirts. Sell. Sell that shirt. We'll sell that shirt. Six gold, whatever. Uh, as far as the books go, we'll probably sell those as well, actually. So this is uh, Devad the Singer. Fool's Ebony Part the Fiveth. Fiveth. <laughs> King Edward Part uh, Seven. And that's all of them. Um, so maybe we'll read one of these, like, at the end of episodes. Um, so in that, uh, in the interest of that, let me, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll look at these and then I'll, I'll sell them. 
so I have the you know the footage available to read them at a later date if uh, that's something we want to do. Um, so yeah, give me one sec. Ooh, okay. Those uh, <laughs> those books are quite long. I don't know if we'll be reading those. Uh, maybe maybe one of them, the first one, but the other two are like part five or seven, and uh, doesn't make sense to really start in the middle. I don't think. But anyway, we'll uh, go ahead and we'll sell these for a, a bit of a chunk of change. This guy doesn't want my armor that I have, and that's so that's the other thing we got to try to get rid of here. See if we can find like a weapon shop somewhere. Or a, uh, an armor shop, I guess, would be better. So what do we, what do we got here? If we go... We just turn right around. It's just a little one. I can find the door. Unclear. Maybe we should have sold our stuff here. I hear the, uh... The, um, yeah, the lower quality shops pay more for goods, I think. But it probably doesn't make that much of a difference, at least not at this point. Uh, all right, let's see what we've got here. So he doesn't want any of my stuff either. What does he got? A sword and some various clothes and stuff. A few books. But yeah, I don't think there's anything in here that we really particularly need. First class supply store, and it's all trash. I guess that, that checks out. Let's try this one. This is like the medium shop of the, the town, I guess. I guess these are all just general stores, though. Yeah, none of these guys want what I've got. I mean... <laughs> it's a bit silly. <laughs> okay. I'll buy it. Why not? There we go. We even made a small profit on our shirt. Uh, <laughs> it reminds me. Uh, we gotta put our... Let's put our armor back on here. Uh, if I can find it. Wait, where's our... Did I sell our armor? Or did it go into the wagon? Or did I drop it? What the heck happened? That's not what we had before. I must have dropped it, I guess, right? Let me go back into that other shop. It was this one. Maybe I did sell it by accident. <laughs> if I did, that's fine. It's not that big a deal. Um, let's put that on for now. But yeah, I didn't think he actually wanted any of that stuff. Oh no, there it is. It's in our wagon. Okay, I thought it might be. Okay. Give me a little bit of a scare for a minute there. Alright, are there any other shops here, or are we pretty much done? There's one more to the west. We'll see if that's a... an armor shop of some kind, maybe. I guess it's this big one here. That's a bank, I think. Yeah, I don't I don't have any need for a bank just yet. So I guess um there's a couple more to the north. But if we uh, can't sell anything there, I guess we'll just have to move on. We can at least put our stuff in the wagon. And um, do things that way. It's another general store. I don't think he's going to want the armor either. The 
to both general stores, or did I... What's this one? Oh, this is somebody's house. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go to this one. So that one says general store. Okay. And there's another one here that also says general store. They just look really similar. Okay. All right. I'm not going crazy. Tell you what, let's get out of here. Let's see um, about... Let's go to... Uh, let's find a, a dungeon on the way to Daggerfall. First off, where is Daggerfall at? It's way down there. Uh, okay. So let's find a dungeon... Maybe down here somewhere. A couple like graveyards. Everything's graveyards. <laughs> um, for dungeons. Well, let's go to the Wixley burial ground. And uh, yeah, let's go to our wagon and just put all that crap in there. Give us a little bit more space. I don't know if there's actually going to be anything here. But we'll at least take a second look. Good opportunity to use hand to hand here. Now, unfortunately, um, I'd like to do some training as well at some point. I didn't really bother to look at the guilds in the little town because we're going to go to Daggerfall. They'll have everything we need there. But um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't think there's any place to train hand-to-hand -hand combat uh, which is gonna make things interesting aha a little gold and um, some kind of feather no secrets or anything just uh, just a couple bats and a little bit of loot I guess I don't know if treasure and monsters respawn or not, but I'm going to assume that they do over time. But I guess we'll find out. And yeah, we can access our wagon without actually having to leave the dungeon, which is, you know, good, I guess. Is there anything else here? Oh, look at that. These doors don't close. Kinda of seems like, yeah, that's that's all there is. Whoop. <laughs> Geometry freaking out a little bit there. I don't know if I can get up on that. I don't know if there's any need or reason to. There we go. Alright, well hey, there's there's a graveyard. <laughs> let's um oh yeah, no auto map available here. Let's go ahead and we'll get out of here. And, um, I guess we'll just go to Daggerfall. Uh, I think it was down here somewhere. Uh, let's just look for it. There we go. Travel to Daggerfall. I think actually the other thing is that if we go, like, recklessly or camp out or something, we could end up there at night and the gates will be closed. Whereas I think otherwise we'll always be there in the daytime when the gates are open. I think anyway, but yeah, anyway, we get, get a hand to hand increase as well. That's nice. All right, I think we can put the fists away for now. So I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess I thought that we had the tutorial enabled, but maybe it bugged out because I think there was supposed to be a pop up after we get out of the dungeon. 
Um, and then maybe one here. But, uh, yeah, whatever. We'll just play the game. See what happens. First thing I want to do for sure is, uh, what time is it? I think it's, um... Yeah, it's morning. So if we loiter for like three hours... Should be able to find an armor shop of some kind somewhere. Just ask somebody. I guess we may as well. We can try to level up our speed skills while we do this. Um... Let's say Vintage Smith, sure. Any of the above. So one's to the southeast. Another to the southeast. So we got a couple to the southeast. Let's take a look. Well, I guess there's a shop literally right here. Let's just get that on the map. Hello there. And yeah, as expected, he's not interested. I right, well, actually, hang on. I didn't look in the... Uh, Actual wagon, though, did I? Oh, no, I guess the wagon comes up automatically. Anyway, yeah, I don't think general stores want armor. I think that's going to be a running theme. But uh, good to get shops on the map and stuff, because we'll probably be back in Daggerfall quite a bit, I would assume. Although the world is quite large, so who can say? All right, where are we at? There's one right to the south there, and there's one to the east, so let's ask you. We failed our speech check. Okay, so she's not impressed with our speech skill. So, we've got uh, one to the south, one to the east. South. And no idea. Alright, we got two to the south, so let's go, let's go south. Well, that's a general store. Let's pop in here to get it on the map real quick. Let's see here. There was that one as well. Let's try that, I guess. Actually, I am a little curious. I don't know if we're going to get in trouble for this or not. You line yourself up just right. It's a little trickier to do in uh, mouse look mode. So we can get up here, but... I was just wondering if there'd be like a door up here or something maybe, but I guess not. That is... what is that? Like a magic shop? Potion shop maybe? What do you, uh, what do you got? a little everything? It's kind of how it seems. There we go. Ah, uh, this guy will buy my armor. Good enough. I'm not gonna worry about looking around everywhere. Uh, let's just get rid of all this... Wait a minute. <laughs> I thought that would've... Oh no, because I wasn't in cell mode. Dang it. Uh, alright. There we go. We go back to the wagon. All right, everything's still there. Just make sure. All right, I think we're, yeah, we're fine. So now we try to sell. We go to the wagon. Like so. Okay, whew. The uh, UI is a little tricky. It's a little tricky at times. We'll get used to it. 606 gold. That's not a very good deal, though. Maybe maybe we'll look at one more place. This shop might be a little too nice for our... Uh, yeah, superior used merchandise. It might be a little too nice for us. 
Let's go to the southeast. I don't know, maybe I was looking at the wrong place the whole time. But that that's not a... That sign wasn't like a general store type sign. So, not exactly sure what kind of shop that was supposed to be. Ooh, big old load there. I can see a lot of that. There we go, that looks promising. Uh, how do we get in? Ah. Well, this is, uh, this is a high-end shop, though. We're probably going to get way less here. But we'll give it a try. Let's see what we've got here. So we've got a wagon. Oh, no, that's right. It's not, uh... Wait, here? Okay, there we go. I guess, yeah, just the... We gotta actually click on it or something? I'm not sure what's going on there, but whatever. Yeah, he's gonna give me way less. What does he have? He's got, like, weapons and stuff. We've already got really good weapons, so... We don't have any gloves, actually. Yeah, how much are gloves? You're out of your damn mind, good sir. Oh, thank you. All right, well, let's uh, we'll keep looking around. We actually, keep going north. There's a guild up here as well. We definitely want to join the Mages Guild, and uh, probably the Fighters Guild as well. At least looks looks like it could be a Knightly Order or a Fighters Guild. Oh, they're, uh, they're not open. Hmm. Uh, well, we can wait here for like a couple hours. Maybe it'll open up. I'm not sure if it, where it says what time it's open. So where is this? Uh, this is a knightly order of some kind. Okay. I'm not going to mess with those just yet. I know that, like, I think you can only join one. Whereas, like, the Fighter and Mages Guild are, like, kind of just whatever, I think. So those are the Knights of the Dragon. That's Daggerfall Castle, I guess. A couple more shops to the east, though. I guess I could ask, uh... You know, where are, uh... Or even, actually, yeah, where, where are the pawn shops at? Okay, so we found one. So, okay, so that's what that was. That was a pawn shop that we went to before. I see. Okay, so there's one really nearby. We found the Vintage Smith. Unsurprisingly, everything there is overpriced. <laughs> she says she marked it on my map, but I, uh, I'm not sure where. Well, whatever. Let's just keep going. It's a big old, like, area here, and then there should be a couple shops. Down this way, I think. Maybe that was one of them, actually. Yeah, I think it was. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. So this is a bookstore. They're not going to want anything that we have. Or maybe it's a library, I guess. This is more accurate, but... Yeah, it's not something we need to worry about. It is a bookstore, yeah, okay. Now I guess the other one is this big one here. And that's just another general store. Dagger Falls Best Equipment Store. If you say so, I guess we'll, we'll shop for stuff later. Let's, uh, yeah, we'll check these two stores, and I guess we'll just look for 
like the Mage's Guild or something. There's a tavern. We're going to need to stay somewhere eventually. I think the shops are somewhere right around here. Oh, there's, uh, yeah, there's one. It's the pawnbroker. It's, uh, this one here. All right, well, we'll just, we'll just sell what we've got here, I guess. Losing, like, a hundred gold there, but I'd like to just move on to other, <laughs> other tasks. Okay. So let's ask where the Mage's Guild is. Let's see. Guilds. Mage's Guild. So that's west, and then the Fighter's Guild. Northwest. So literally like the other side of town, I guess. Well, there's like a whole other slew of shops right there. We're kind of in like the southwestern... Southeastern, rather, side of the city. So we found the Knights of the Dragon. There is another guild way to the north, so I guess let's go there first. I think running is about the same speed as our horse, and this gives us a level up as well. But we want to be a little bit careful about level ups, because, like, if we level up a bunch of non-combat skills and then have to fight tougher enemies with crappy combat skills, we're going to be in trouble. It's the same same kind of problem you run into in, like, Oblivion, I know. This is, this is my assumption, anyway. Because, uh, yeah, I think the enemies are probably going to get harder as you level up. And then maybe the lower-level enemies stop appearing at all. Which is one of my concerns for, like, for example, our language skills. You know, if triads are, like, mid-level, do they just stop showing up eventually? And then <laughs> we, we never get another opportunity to, uh, to level the skill up again. Oh, yeah, I ran, ran right by it. I'm a little faster than I thought, I guess. Just some random naked lady statue in the city, sure. Made out of purple. What is this one? It's another knightly order. This one is, uh, I don't know. Doesn't say. We didn't get a name. I, mean, I guess we could have tried join guild. Maybe that would have done it, but I guess I'm not going to worry about it. see where we're at here so we're in, in like the big uh plaza area here we go so i'm gonna guess that one to the northwest might be the fighters guild and then the other one is the mages guild because the fighters guild doesn't have as much stuff i don't think you know as far as like npcs that offer services uh where is it looking for like a Keep tight building. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if they're all going to look like this, but it wouldn't surprise me. It would be nice as far as just being able to find stuff. Uh, Fighter's Guild. <laughs> Let's go southeast. Yes, you look like the sort of warrior we could use in the Fighters Guild. <laughs> this other guy tried to kick me out the door. We offer skills, training, special discounts on armor and weapon repairs, and very profitable work assignments. In addition, I always have a place to rest in any Fighters Guild. Are you interested? Yes. Okay, we're an apprentice in the Fighters Guild. Lovely. 
Huh. Talk? Uh, you know what? We haven't done any, uh... Any, any news? Ah, Kruni Rallon is the new Count of Shalgora, of course. Very interesting. What about... Do you know anything about... What's, what's this Underking thing? No? Nothing? Okay. Fair enough. So these people at least talk to me. Uh, I don't think we need anything repaired right now. And then this is just uh, the barracks, I guess. So we could take a nap here for a bit. If we really wanted to, we may do that later, but not right now. Uh, actually, we should do some training, because training costs more as you level up. It's probably worth our time. Uh, what should we train? This is what they offer. Trying to think of uh, what our skills are. Our, our language skills. What are our language skills actually? Let's see. Nymph. Giantish, that's the one. So we could train up like Longblade some more, I guess. That kind of thing. Ah, oh, there you go. There's some Giantish. We got no stamina left. Let's, uh,. Rest for a bit, I guess. There you go, streetwise, giantish, and running all improved. Um, these are probably not the skills we really want to train, though. I'd probably rather train, like... I guess, well, Nymph <laughs> would be one, just since it's one of our major skills. Uh, if we were going to train anything. I guess maybe we could do like long blade, that kind of thing, but I think I'm gonna. Let's rest for um, 10 hours. And we'll go just check out the Mage's Guild really uh, quickly here. Oh, they teleported me back up here, okay. I can get off the stairs. Okay, whew. Mages go. I'm gonna guess that's just to the south there. If we can find the entrance. I'm, I'm thinking it's this building anyway. Oh, no, that's a... Uh, it's a temple, I think. Which temple are you? Uh, I think... Here, let's save that. I think if we say join guild, we don't actually have to join. Kinnereth, okay. I think they'll still train us. And stuff. Buy spells. Oh, okay. We can't buy spells here unless we're a member. Here we go, training. Yeah, so training costs extra if you're not, like, part of the group. And uh, all the temples and organizations train different stuff, so we could get Daedra training here, which I think is on our list, if I recall. But uh, we may be able to get that done at the Temple of Akatosh cheaper instead. So, uh, yeah, we're not interested in the Temple of Kinnereth. Um, I guess... Just ask somebody real quick where the Mage's Guild is. Uh, let's see. Guilds. Mage's Guild. Southwest. Oh, is that it? No, it's another shop. Is that one already on the, uh, no. We'll, we'll pop in here real quick. Just long enough to get it, again, like, on the list. So if the Mage's Guild is to the southwest... Oh, it must be, I guess, that giant building down there.
Wait, I'm going southeast. What am I doing? We're going the right direction at least. Almost there. I guess it must be this uh, this building here. Yeah, there we go. That looks magey. Oh, they're not open yet. <laughs> uh, let's uh, loiter for a couple hours. And there we go. The Mages Guild. Join Guild. Yes, you are worthy to join the Mages Guild. As an apprentice, you can use the Spellmaker and get training in any of the guild skills. Later, you become eligible to use the library, buy magical items, and even make your own. Interested? Yes, I am. We'll be known as Jakazi, apprentice of the Mages Guild. It'll take patience and hard effort to gain access to all the guild offers. My child, I can now give you access to our trainers and our Spellmaker. Too much power in too little time has destroyed many a man and woman. The Mages Guild is nothing if not conscientious. Now we can get some quests here and stuff to improve our standing. So he won't, uh, yeah, he won't sell me anything. Um, but we could at least make some spells and stuff. Training, what do you guys do for training? Alteration, Daedric, oh yeah, there you go. So we can get Daedric here. Destruction, also good. Um, yeah, let's, uh, since we're here... Trying a little destruction. And then uh, somewhere around here is going to be a spell maker where we can actually get some magic that we can use. There you go. Make spells. All right. So we'll check that out next time. Uh, this has gone on long enough. I'm not going to read anything because we spent so much time exploring uh, the city and everything, trying to find shops to sell stuff at. But uh, yeah, when we come back, we'll make a few spells. For future adventures and then i don't know um i guess we could like visit daggerfall the castle um yeah to see if we can figure out what's going on with king lysandus maybe get the the main quest kind of started uh, if we don't find anything as far as that goes, then I guess well, we'll just bum around and check out some dungeons and stuff. But uh, in a way, we're a little bit better equipped because yeah, we gotta we gotta do some training, and we actually want to do some quests for the Mages Guild as well to rank up. So yeah, we've got some some things we can do. <laughs> 